Hey, what's up guys, MuddedHD here, and welcome to episode 16 on my journey to the top series, and if you missed any of the previous episodes, there is a link in the description to the series playlist where you can find all the previous episodes that I've done, but in the previous episode, we signed a massive player, Scholfer, from the uh, Bundesliga 2, I don't know what team he plays for, it's such a hard name to pronounce, but uh, we also had a bit of technical difficulty with the game itself. Uh, for some reason Sheffield United did not uh, allow our allowed football so we, uh, we we played a game with an ima imaginary football and sadly we did not win that game. But anyway we got to crack on now. Accrington Stanley, the guys from Liverpool, are we going to pull out a result here? And I've got to say Scholfer was an absolute monster this game. You see that finesse shot cutting outside with a nice step over. And then knocking that ball into the back of the net with an absolute, a, absolute monster of a finesse shot. And yet again, finesse shots for days. We go two up in the 45th minute just before half time. And Scholfer yet again picking up his second goal. Can he make it any better? Well, we, we as a goo here, almost made it 3-0. He should have had a better shot there. But unfortunately, he wasn't on target, and it probably would have beat the keeper if it was on target. But anyway, we had a crack from just outside the box. Unfortunate there not to finish it. But here is where the magic happens. Scholfer smashes it on the volley, son. What a perfect way to end his hat trick. Well, to gain his hat trick, in fact. And what a volley that was from that sort of position. We were off the hook this game against Accrington Stanley. Not the best team in the world, but we definitely deserve the three points that we definitely won. Um, after them three goals, we did almost let up a goal there, but a bad a drag shot from the Accrington Stanley player to uh, deny them the chance of scoring. But here we could have been 4-0 up. Scholfer, not the best at heading, standing at five foot five, did not get that ball in the back of the net. But anyway, we win that game. Three points are secured. And next we have Stevenage, who have a great team. They have Grant. They've been in League One. And I've got to say, guys, what is going on again? Sheffield United a remake. Where's the football? Where, where's it gone, EA? I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know whether it's the disc or it's just, it's just, for some reason, the career mode save is just not working. It's really, really annoying. Uh, I know the first time it was a bit of a joke, but... If this happens again, I'm going to have to send my, uh, try and get a refund because this is just pretty annoying. You see there, Rogers for Stevenage picking up a goal. But here, I only played the goals in this game because I thought there's no point playing the highlights because you cannot see where the ball is going. But here, Scholifer cu uh, cuts into the box and then he pulls off a nice finesse shot, I guess. he could That ball could have gone anyway. It could have not even gone in the goal. Um, but that shot from Anthony Grant really deflated us, and what a shot it was, laid off just outside the box, put in that net, and we lose this game 2-1, and on world class, <laughs> I've got to say, I was pretty impressed by our guys' performance, well, seeing as I was playing it, and we couldn't see, the, well, I couldn't see the ball, I just, you have to play on instinct when it goes to that, but thank God, the next game, against Colchester in the League Cup, which is the Carling Cup. Uh, the, the, they did, they could fo afford a football, and we almost took a great chance there. Uh, I think that was Azagu running into the box, and he almost took his chance. But Chambers here, doing a nice bit of skill, uh, gets fouled twice, in fact, and then he pulls off a nice shot, a great save by the keeper, just slightly uh, straight at the keeper there. Could have done better with that shot, but... These guys are only sort of bronze if you're talking in ultimate team terms. And um, a pretty nice shot. But we should have scored there. Liam Henderson, who has the power head of straight, did not do the best. Um, seeing as he is the only guy on my team that can really head her for a striker. Uh, he definitely needs to uh, sort his act out. But Colchester came at us pretty well. Um, they definitely had some passing plays. And they're in League 1 right now. And look at that. How did he not finish that? The keeper sort of closed down the angle anyway. Uh, but we were very lucky. But Scholifer absolutely pacing past that defence. And look how close that ball was to hitting that post. And possibly going in. Uh, it was all on small margins. And look at that again. 
we could have been denied um, the extra time there, hitting the crossbar for Colchester. But in the 90th minute, we had a chance, almost lobbing that keeper with a header, but Abini Ayesi just didn't get enough height on it away from the keeper. And we went to extra time. Now, Azagu runs through here. What a run by him, and what a ball by Ayesi. And we score that goal. Azagu picks up another goal, following on for, from his form last year. And Taylor here, the left back that we've been somehow stuck with on loan, uh, two years on loan with us somehow. I don't know where the board, the, the board may have left him with us, but he did a massive run and he just pathetically missed. Uh, but he is a left back, so I'm not complaining. But then in the 112th minute, Ayesi finishes off the game. A great, outstanding performance by him, setting up the goal and a scoring a goal himself to win that game against Colchester 2-0 and we get the prize money which is about two and a half grand but it isn't really going to make a massive difference I did go into the market trying to look for a player I wanted this guy Husama Hasama um, a CDM but I just didn't really have enough money and I really want to sort eight out a youth um, squad sort of thing you know what I mean a squad um, a scout so I need to save money for that. There was interest in a player that I had on my shortlist. I thought I'd just show you this um, because nothing really happened except my interest in trying to get a CDM. But I thought his wages are 3k, and I, it was all, always going to be a replacement for Balan, who who is making awesome progress from where he was when we signed him. He was about a 66, and now he's a 70. Um, maybe there will be some movement, but but this game against Barnet. Uh, somehow I won. You haven't seen the Barnet game. I was confused as well. I don't know why, uh, but it seems that the game has simulated it for me. Uh, I I must have when I was. I don't know whether you play games mid through the uh, transfer window. I'm a bit confused, but we won that game anyway. I'm going to take them three points, and um, yeah. So we're into our next game in Fleetwood. A uh, very good team last year. They almost gained promotion. With all their money and stuff, they they were one of the top um uh, well spenders. And look at that foul there. He should have been um uh, given a yellow card there. But um we, we're moving on. That was just a great scoring chance, and I thought I'd leave that in because he could have been sent off for that because that is um stopping a potential goal there. And we should have scored here. Wilson tipping it into the box. And uh, the keeper pulls off a nice tipping save to get the ball away from goal. But Fleetwood did have the run of play this game. That's why there aren't many highlights. But they definitely owned that game. And we were lucky to get out of there with a nil, uh, nil uh, stance on that. So anyway, here are the squ here is the squad report because there was, has been some slight movement since the new season has started. You guys can all see this, uh, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. But firstly, I want to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Thank you so much to everyone that has viewed my videos, everyone who has subscribed, everyone that has supported me since I started. It's been an amazing journey so far, and it hasn't finished at all yet. This is only the beginning, um, and I'm really looking forward to uh, hopefully many years doing this because... Uh, it's a hobby that I'm really, really enjoying. So thank you so much. Um, I did get home and I had 100 subscribers this morning. But someone unsubbed and I got 99 now. But I'm still counting it as 100 subs uh, because uh, I have had 100 subs now. So there will be a 100 subscriber video. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I think it's going to be a Q&A. So uh, I will leave a video if I'm doing a Q&A uh, de debating uh, questions that you might want to ask me. So anyway, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well as my other content. Please go check that out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.